Okay. So the time is like 3 a.m. Look at that. You. It looks like Leona might be going into labor. Well, we're not sure. <laughs> yeah, there's a funny story behind that, but that's not a story for you guys. It's a plus story. <laughs> There's a contraction app that you use. Apparently, there's something called what do you call that thing again? Brexit thing? Bre Bre <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Bre Brexton Hicks. Brexton Hicks contraction. It's when your uterus is getting ready for actual labor. I think it's coming down slowly. So, should I click stop? Yeah. Stop contraction. That's over 30 seconds. That's it. 60 seconds. You did. Well, 60 seconds is over 30 seconds. Am I wrong? Anyways, there's something called Brixton Ting Ting. <laughs> I'm gonna write it here. The baby's kicking though. The baby shouldn't be kicking during contraction, should it? You're asking the wrong person. So, that's kind of like false labor, basically. And uh, basically, your body just getting yeah, ready. The muscle just practice. So, we're not sure if that's it. I mean, we're still in the eighth month. It's like yeah. two more days until the eighth month is done. And then we're getting into the ninth month. No. Start. Boom. Ha. That means it's two minutes apart. Contractions are two minutes apart. I'm panicking because we're not ready at all. House is a mess. Car is a mess. Baby's blanket barely finished it. Barely finished it. Not done. And it's not washed. So, I'm not ready. We're not ready. <laughs> But it doesn't hurt. Yeah, but your back hurts. We watched the video and it says that the uh, big thing, 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 thing. <laughs> no, that... no, I'm soft again. Soft? 44 seconds. That's weird. It is. We're probably just tripping. Or maybe we're not. It's too early for the baby to come. It's not too early. It is. The baby is just two days shy of eight months. Literally. Literally. Uh, literally. It's three o'clock in the morning. Conversation got boring. So Conversation the baby decided got boring. To come. <laughs> baby decided to come. Sneak into a bedroom. We didn't even make sheets for that one. I'm telling you, we're not ready. Why do you think I say we're not ready? You think it's a joke, huh? You have three days to make sheets for that thing. That's not impossible. No, yeah, it's not impossible. Forget, <laughs> forget. Bugger! I'm pretending I was sleeping. Yo, do you see that? Mm -hmm. That's my rib, dude. <laughs> okay, click. Oh, 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 three minutes apart. The time is good. Is the time supposed to be getting shorter or longer? Shorter. Okay, the time is getting longer. Now, this is weird. Look, like, even you can see when it's happening. Yeah, that's huge. Your back hurts? Yeah. Enjoying contractions. Enjoying? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Who enjoys contractions? Tap a star to rate it on the App Store. Maybe. You don't want to leave Apple, contractions. Wrong timing. <laughs> How many stars do you use the app? Yeah. But only my back hurts. Nothing else hurts. Like I should be screaming of pain now if it was actual contraction. We recommend that you get ready to go to the hospital. Babe! Babe! <laughs> We recommend that you get ready to go to the hospital now. You can check whether you packed all your things and documents. Time allows you to take a shower and have a light meal. Yeah. I'm good. I'm gonna I'm gonna screenshot this. Get ready, he says. You don't fuck your ads. <laughs> you gotta have time for this shit. Eight contractions and Leona still doesn't want to go to the hospital. Why are you stopping? Because I'm not sure if that because it doesn't hurt. Eight. Awesome. Eight. I need to stop packing your things. Look, it's a mess. Making baby blankets and bed sheets and shit like that. And see the house is a fucking mess, you know what I'm saying? It's a mess. But finally, look who finally agreed to go to the hospital. Mama Bear finally agreed to go to the hospital. Are you ready, Mama Bear? Let's go to the hospital. Contraction. Look, look, look how many contractions already. 18 contractions. Contractions. 18. And she's being stubborn. Because it doesn't hurt, so it might not. What, what are you sitting there? You drink water. You don't give me a heart attack, you know? You know? So we're on our way to the hospital because, because that guy there, the black one that you can't see in the dark, 
won't leave me alone until we go because he's panicking. He's panicking. He's not, not panicking. letting me live my life. I'm I just not wanted panicking. to stay at home I'm and not just panicking. chill until I feel something. I'm but not he's panicking. like, uh, uh, let's go. Uh, because uh, the app said we should go uh, like seven uh, times. I already. wish I didn't put the app on my Ever. The app said go to the hospital Christ. like 50 times, 50 times. It doesn't hurt yet, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. But your back hurts. My back hurts, uh -huh. but that can be so many things. Well, the fact that it doesn't hurt yet can also be so many things. Contraction? 24 contractions. Jesus, that's a creepy way to make you up. Contraction? I don't know. I'm tired. Stop asking me. <laughs> I want to sleep. That seems like a contraction. Mm -hmm. My stomach is much lower than it. Is it? I feel like it went back up. In Serbia, they have to put like four signs that says no smoking. I'm pretty sure some dumbass still lights up a cigarette in here. <laughs> Since this whole baby journey started, I always have to wait outside. I never know what's going on. Oh no, I have her phone. <laughs> You can't give me an update. And I'm just gonna walk around empty halls of this creepy ass hospital. It's so creepy. I've been standing here for like probably an hour now. Can't feel my leg in my back. I have no freaking idea what's going on inside. Mm -hmm. Bring this stuff. Are you kidding? They said like they are contractions and that. Uh... The baby is smaller and uh, they're going to try to calm me down. The water was leaking. They're going to see if I'll stop having contractions or either that or they're having a baby. <laughs> I was not panicking. I knew the baby was coming. Okay, so I'm chilling. I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm excited. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Leona said this said that the baby is still very small and the baby can should not come out. I don't know. I'm waiting. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to say. I know when I came as a baby, my mom said I was very tiny, but you can see how I turned out. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. She said they're gonna try to calm down the contractions so the baby doesn't come out. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just blind. They just ask me to go home. Go home and do what? For God's sake. Anyways, I started to get so stressed. My back is aching. So I stopped to get burgers. Yeah. Food is always a stress reliever for me. Oh. So I'm in the hospital. I'm connected to the machine. And apparently I'm having real contractions so I can barely feel them. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Baby heartbeat. Those are my contractions. So they took, just took me off that machine there. Uh, that's measuring my contractions, and uh, which is great news because now I can walk around. I can sit if I want, and actually sitting suits me much better because my back hurts. I don't feel the contractions still, but my back hurts. So sitting and walking will be a great. I feel like it would be more to more interesting to have someone else in this room. Like there's one, two, three, four beds. This one is my bed. And there is no one here. And I'm just walking around waiting for my baby to come. My baby's coming. <laughs> so here's a paper with my contractions. Not that. Not that. Yeah, so the time is 4 p.m. and still no promising news, you know what I'm saying? Nothing's happening, just chilling and waiting. Anyways, there's a bunch of stuff that Leona forgot at home. She has to wait because baby's not ready to come out, but there's contractions. It's complicated, but it is what it is. 
After a day and a half in the hospital, they're actually inducing me because nothing is happening. That's the time. Still not in. And that's the amount of induction I got. Still not in. This baby does not want to come out. My hand got all weird. The color of my hand. It's so weird. So anyways, the doctor said that we're gonna give it a little bit more time and if it doesn't start happening, then we're gonna have to go for a C-section. So let's just hope. So I'm sorry, my life up, my, not life, my updates kind of cut short after a while things got serious not too bad so I've, i was getting those induction thing to help me get there but it wasn't happening so they had to do a c-section at the end for two days now i've been recovering and i couldn't be with her which was really hard for me i felt like the pain would have been less if i could you know just look at her so they brought her once a day and I got to see her, you know, at least cuddle her a little bit and then they take her away so I rest because, you know, you know it all needs to heal but dog days are over and we're here now together yeah so I just got transferred to this room where she gets to stay with me 24 7 except when they take her uh, for you know medical stuff that they need to do not for long anyways so we're here and we're chilling it's a girl <laughs> I was so certain my whole pregnancy that it's a boy. Like, I would have bet on it. Easy. No one made me bet, thankfully, but it's a girl. And I wanted a girl so bad, and I'm so happy that it's a girl. It's a girl, if you didn't catch it. <laughs> mm -hmm. 